Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. Well, Scott here, bringing you a snapshot update to demonstrate the new hardened clay block and to show you some applications you could use it for in your designs and your builds. So let's jump off of Jack real quick. And before we head into the Hall of Color, we'll just saddle him up here or rope him up or, I don't know, hitch him up. Yes, stand, stand right up there. There you go. Good, Jack. But I want to show that you can now access the chest here and you can see inside the chest block of coal has a new texture and the chunk of charcoal also has a new texture to differentiate from the coal block. There we go. All right. And now we'll move over to the hardened clay block. This is how we dye the block. So you would just make a little circle here with it and you place your dye in the center. And then this will give you eight blocks of your desired color. There we go. All right. So let's head into the hollow of color. So this is the new hardened clay block and its corresponding wool color. So here would be the white wool and this would be the hardened clay's equivalent to its white. It's a little odd. It's a little pinkish, which is kind of interesting. So we'll just move on to the orange one. It's a little bit better to demonstrate this. And you can see with the wool, you see a lot of little speckles where you, know, you see a, a real kind of light color and a real kind of dark color. Never really cared for that design. But with the new hardened clay color block, you can see that it's real refined and sleek and not a lot of uh, variations in color, which makes it really great for building, which we'll show you in a moment. So as you can see, there's colors for each one and the yellow one's a good example with this really dark kind of almost greenish color to the yellow. And this is more of a mustard yellow, which is very nice. And I really like how it's just real subtle. You can see there is a slight variation with a little darker, a little lighter there, but with the wool it's a huge difference and it's just kind of unattractive so we'll continue along as you can see now we're in some of the blues and some of the browns and grays the cyan's a little odd i think maybe they could add maybe a little color more color to it. it's a little too gray in my opinion and the blue over here is a little purplish i would like to see a little more blue into it but each block is still really nice i like this one it's really close to its corresponding wool block, but with a nice kind of refined look to it. It's very, very nice. And I, I absolutely love these things. The only problem with them would be the cost, the cost for building in a survival world. It's, it would take you a long time to get a good amount of this to do a real big build like a house. The color of the house on the outside would be this. Whereas wool, if you pen enough sheep, it's not that costly. But there we go, guys. That's the Hall of Color. Hope you guys enjoyed that. So now let's take a look at some applications that we could add these designs to. So let's head over there. All right, so now we're over here taking a look at some of the things that we could do with this new block, such as this house, furniture, and we'll take a look at this room inside that little hut over there. So over here we could see what we can do. So this is kind of like a leather. This is this brown hardened clay block and there is the corresponding wool block. But this one looks like a nice like leather, nice smooth leather compared to its counterpart, the wool. Which the wool is still nice. It's one of my favorite wool blocks and it's good for a lot of furniture designs, but this one's way cooler. And you can see over here the great new lime colored clay block. As you can see its corresponding wool block is very bright and kind of obnoxious green. Whereas its counterpart in the hardened clay area is nice and smooth and unmuted green. It's very nice. Good for craftsman design, by the way. And over here would be an orange block for a chair, which is nice and smooth. And here is its other one, which is kind of a brightish, more saturated orange, which not a huge fan of. So let's head inside here real quick and look at what you could do with the block to create a room color. So you could have done this with your wool block, of course, but it just would not have looked as nice. If you see here, this is nice and smooth. It looks just really great. I, I absolutely love this, especially if you're doing a creative build, you could do this very well. And you could see we had a little kind of windowsill here with it because then we would have the outside being a wood of some sort would be the outside color of the house. And then on the inside, you could have your own unique color. And you could have done this, of course, with a wool block in the past. But it just would not have looked as good. And look at that ceiling up there. Isn't that nice? Wow, I love that. And yeah, so I think that came out pretty good. And you can kind of get an idea what you could do with your new hard and clay block. So let's go over here real quick and take a look at this house that we built over here. And as you can see, we used the green. I'm kind of partial to the green, as you can see. We used it in quite a different 
variety of things. But yeah, look at that. Whereas with the lime colored block of wool, this would have looked kind of goofy and kind of cartoonish. But with this way, it looks very nice and looks very kind of craftsman, kind of something you might find out in the mountains or something like that. So yeah, so that is an idea of what you could do for a house. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and you were able to get some design inspiration for the new items added to Minecraft. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you continue to enjoy these videos, let me know. And I'll, I'll do these videos, these update snapshot videos, as long as there's something in it that I can, you know, show that you could do within designing and building and things like that. So if they're just bug fixes, you know, that's not something I would I would make. But for this, I think it came out pretty good. And we're able to take these blocks now and create some things that we weren't able to create before in a much better design fashion. Well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, which is tomorrow, we'll see you later. And in today's episode, we will be touring this beautiful southwest inspired adobe house built with the new hardened clay blocks so let's get on that tour